Superman is a legendary hero and one of the first superheroes ever to be created, and he is considered to be the most powerful member of the Justice League. And though it can be argued that there are stronger members of the team, one thing is for certain, he has incredible power. But this video isn't going to focus on him as Superman, it's going to focus on him in his younger years, back when he still lived in Smallville and was called Superboy. Now the title of Superboy would later go to his clone, Connor Kent, but originally the name was Clark Kent's superhero identity. And this story of his first romance starts at a school dance, where he is dancing with Lana Lang, his oldest and closest friend. He is asking whether she gave the girl he likes the note he wrote her, and she says she has, but that he's dreaming if he thinks that Misty, the most popular girl in school, will like him. When all of a sudden they are interrupted by the very same Misty, who wants to dance with him. Lana, like the others there, can't believe that Misty is dancing with Clark Kent, as she is way out of his league. But they dance, and then they leave together to walk her home. With Clark weirdly saying, are you sure you want me to take you home? I know a lot of people offered. Which may not seem weird to other people, but I think that's a very bizarre thing to say. But she says that she would rather have him walk her home, and the two even share a kiss along the way. And when they get back to her house, she invites him in, as she wants to show him something. It turns out that Misty has a hobby called handwriting analysis and she has analysed Clark's handwriting from the note he wrote for her and discovered that his writing style is that of someone with self-confidence, an aggressive ego and incredible courage, which are all traits that the mild-mannered Clark Kent isn't supposed to have. Clark then says something beautiful, which is, Someone finally found a flaw in my double identity. And I love this because this is the best way for a superhero's secret identity to come out. Not by being caught in the literally millions of other ways that you would think of being caught. Not caught in a lie, not caught on camera. No, he was caught because his handwriting looks too courageous. It makes absolutely no sense. And I love it. <laughs> but Misty reveals that she now knows that he is Superboy, and even places a slideshow image from his costume on his body to prove her point and she tells him that it's not his fault that he was caught, as she is as smart as Superboy, having an IQ of 220. And to put that IQ into perspective, Albert Einstein, one of the smartest men in history, is estimated to have an IQ between 180 to 190. So having an IQ of 220 makes her the smartest woman who has ever lived. But Misty also says that she would never reveal his secret, and the two share a kiss and spend the night together his parents believing that he has just spent the night on patrol as Superboy. But the story doesn't end there. After the two spend the night together, they then spend the next few days with each other. How many days is not made clear, but it's long enough for each of them to get a strong emotional link to one another and for Clark Kent to fall in love with her. Until one day, Superboy has to stop a few Bigfoots that have arrived in town and are rampaging through Smallville. He stops them from rampaging and then rescues them from the clutches of a circus owner looking to exploit them. And as Superboy is releasing them into the wild, a Kryptonian robot then appears. Now, this robot was sent by Superboy's father to teach Superboy how to control his powers on Earth. And it occasionally sets up tests for him to make sure that he is fit to be Superboy. And freeing these Bigfoot creatures was one of his tests to see if his judgement was right and it was because he did save them from the circus owner. But as Superboy is setting the creatures free, Misty comes to see him, and then one of the Bigfoot creatures throws a rock at her, killing her. Superboy is livid and completely loses control at the Bigfoot who killed her, and he wants revenge. But fortunately, he is able to stop himself from killing the creature. And his teacher reveals that this was also part of his test, to see if he could hold back from taking a life and Superboy can't believe that the robot would kill Misty, an innocent girl, just to test him. And then the robot reveals that she is not dead, nor does she love him, it was all part of his test. He captured a girl from a nearby town, who Clark Kent would find physically attractive, and then he mind washed her so she would seduce him, so that Superboy would fall in love with her, and then the pain of her death would be real, and that would be a proper test because this was the only way, apparently, to test Superboy's control over his powers. The robot then says that the test is over, and he takes Misty away and erases her memory of ever knowing Superboy. And that is how Superman lost his virginity. A robot his father programmed to teach him how to use his powers, essentially roofies and mind rapes an innocent girl into seducing him, 
and then when he is done with her, he simply erases her memory and puts her back where she came from, as though this had never happened. And because of what he's been through, Clark then says that he is no longer a superboy, but now he is a superman. Whether he's referring to the fact that he's just lost this love or the fact that he's lost his virginity isn't clear, but as he says, he is now a superman. And although Superman is getting a raw deal in this, it's nothing compared to the girl. After all, her friends and family must be worried sick, since she's been missing for at least three weeks, if not longer, and she is violated in the worst possible ways. So all in all, this is actually a pretty messed up story. But what do you think? Do you agree that this story is messed up beyond belief? Or do you think that the robot teacher was doing the right thing in testing Clark, and that testing him in this way to see if he would kill in anger was actually a good idea? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.